When he asked me to come back, he asked me to come back not as an assistant coach, you know, but as a co-head coach. You know what I mean? And uh, but I do a lot of things that I still, you know, would do normally as a head coach. You know what I mean and stuff. And um, it really hasn't been a, been a huge drop off to be honest with you. But that's the way you want it. I didn't want to come here and be just a regular assistant. I'm associate head coach for a reason, and it's not just a title. That interview with Rodney Terry from November 6th, former UTEP head coach Terry talking about why he left for what is kind of a lesser role at Texas as an assistant coach. His reasoning makes sense, but I doubt he ever thought he'd be forced into action quite like this. University of Texas men's basketball coach Chris Beard was arrested early this morning on a felony family violence charge, according to Travis County jail records. Beard was suspended by UT without pay until further notice. Rodney Terry, the former UTEP head coach serving the as the seventh ranked Longhorns acting head coach in their game tonight versus Rice. Now this is Beard being booked into jail today, then getting out after posting $10,000 bond with his attorneys. Now, according to the police report, Beard and his fiance got into an altercation at their home shortly after midnight last night regarding ongoing relationship issues. Beard's fiance allegedly broke his glasses. She told police that Beard then slapped her glasses from her face. Then per the reports, he choked her for five seconds, impeding her breathing. There were also various injuries visible on the woman's body, including bite marks and cuts on her face, arms, legs and thumb. Beard allegedly told police that this at the scene that he had audio recordings that showed he was not the main aggressor, but he would not share those recordings with police. Now, as I said, the Longhorns still had a game tonight too at home versus Rice, and there is Rodney Terry. He was at UTEP 18 months ago, goes to Texas as an assistant, now thrust into being the acting head coach. The Horns clearly shell-shocked. They trailed by nine points at times in the first half. Late in the game, Travis Evey giving Rice a three-point lead, but Marcus Carr here, three of his 28 points to tie it up and send it into overtime. Tied at 72 in OT, former New Mexico State star Jabari Rice would take over off the dribble right there with the lefty finish at the rim and then check out Rice here on the up and under finish. This is sweet. Oh, 11 points for him, most of them coming in overtime. Texas rallied for a tough 87 to 81 win just hours after Chris Beard was arrested on those domestic violence charges. Afterwards, Rodney Terry talking about the tough day that was for the Longhorns. Again, I can't speak on that situation. You know, um, you know, I love I love Beard like like my own brother. You know, and uh, um, you know, again, we were focused on the on the task at hand, and that was again preparing for uh, a really competitive Rice team tonight. And, uh, and I thought our guys yesterday really won this game. Yesterday, they came in and, and had great preparation uh, for this ball game. They came in and worked really hard uh, yesterday, and uh, you know, obviously had some adversity this morning, but quickly regrouped and uh, you know, again, battle battle through a, a highly contested game tonight. It's the first win as serving as a power five head coach for Rodney Terry and check out the locker room celebration here. T team clearly fired up for him. There will be some uncertain times ahead for the Longhorns. Who knows if Chris Beard will ever coach a game there again. For now, it's Rodney Terry who will try to steady the ship. They play host to Stanford on Sunday.